What's up, guys? In today's episode of Engines of Go Transit, I'll be talking about the APCU. Before I start, though, I should mention that the APCU technically wasn't an engine while on Go Transit, but it does count. Also, I would refer to it as F Unit APCU, as the APCU can be any unit model. Anyways, let's continue. Go Transit's APCUs didn't actually start on Go Transit. Rather, they started on a lot of different railroads. APCU 900 to 908 were originally built for Ontario Northland, numbered in the 1500s, and were actual engines. They were either EMD or GMD FP7 units. APCU 910 and 911 were former Milwaukee Road units numbered 63A and 104A. Again, they are FP7s. They were then purchased by Chrome Crankshaft. The first five APCUs 900 to 904 were purchased by Go Transit in 1974, converted to an APCU, and numbered as 9858 to 9862, but were then renumbered as 900 to 904. The next four APCUs 905 to 908 were converted as well, but were also renumbered from their previous numbering in the 1500s before arriving on Go. The last two APCUs 910 to 911 were acquired by Ontario Northland from Chrome Crankshaft, purchased by Go and converted by Ontario Northland in 1981. By the way, 909 does not exist. In the process of becoming APCUs, they lost their engine, main generator, and traction motors and could not be used like a typical engine. The technical specifications of the APCU are somewhat the same as the F unit they once were. The APCU came at a length of 55 feet, 2 and a quarter inches, a width of 10 feet, 8 inches, and a height of 15 feet. It weighs 260,000 pounds, but that was likely reduced as the APCU lost their engine, main generator, and more. They were equipped with a General Motors 600 kilowatt 16V149 powered AGP system and could provide electrical power to a 12 car train. An example of an APCU being used is this shot of Ontario Northland. The APCU, which is an F40PH, supplied power to the cars while the locomotive simply pulls the train. Anyways, Go now has 11 F unit APCUs. For what? Well, at this time, Go Transit had locomotives that did not have ATP systems, such as the GP40 2s, GP40 2Ws, and GP40 M 2s. The APCUs still retained their cab controls, so this allowed the APCUs to be used for push pull operations. Occasionally, they were with the GP40 TCs and F40 PHs even though those locomotives had AGP. They were generally there because, at the time, Go Transit had little to no cab cars, and even when the first bi-levels were delivered, it was only the coaches and it took a couple of years for the bi-level cab cars to arrive. Here are some shots of the APCU either providing power to the coaches or being used as a non-power control unit. Over time, the APCUs received ditch lights.
The F-Unit APCUs were also required when GO leased their passenger equipment to other railroads which was either the single level Hawker Sidley coaches or the bi-level coaches, such as the Via Rail during the removal of all LRC equipment from service around 1984 and after the 1985 Loma Prieta earthquake in Los Angeles. Eventually, GO Transit retired all of their APCUs in 1995 following GO Transit receiving the bi-level cab cars and newer locomotives that had HEP to run by themselves, but not before selling off two APCUs, 903 and 904, which went to Tri-Rail. Pensyfan19 made an excellent video on APCU 904, and the rest of the units were eventually scrapped. These APCUs served well on GO Transit, and even after their retirement from GO, one still stands in Florida. These units aided not just GO Transit in its success, but other passenger railroads in their shortcomings. The APCU has made a mark in the history of GO Transit, the commuter railroad of Southern Ontario.